What's up design family and welcome to another episode. On today's video, we'll be looking at my top recommendations for what fabric compositions, the exact compositions to use for the most common product types. We'll be going through each product type and I'll be giving one or two recommendations on what fabric compositions to use. This is going to be a really, really informative video. So buckle up, you guys are in for a great one. Welcome to Fit Design TV. On this channel, we'll explore what it takes to make it as an activewear fashion brand, whilst providing tips, tricks, and actionable steps towards starting your own product line. Whether you're an entrepreneur looking to start your own brand, or just someone interested in fitness fashion, there's something for you here. We've all been there before. We have an idea for a product, but zero ideas on what fabric composition to use. What is a fabric composition? Fabric composition is essentially the percentage of each type of fiber or material that makes up a fabric piece, what we physically touch. For example, plain cotton t-shirts are most likely 100% cotton. That means that all of the fibers within that fabric piece are 100% cotton. I'm gonna go through each of the main product types that you guys might have in mind, and I'll give my suggestions for what I think is the best composition or two compositions for that specific product type. We'll start off with the most common, your lifestyle fitted t-shirt. What is the most common composition? I would use a 95% cotton, 5% spandex for a little bit of that stretch, at a 180 GSM. What does the word GSM mean? I'm glad you asked. GSM is grams per square meter. That essentially refers to the thickness or the weight of the fabric. So whenever I refer to GSM, I'm referring to the actual thickness of the fabric. And that will affect how it hangs on the body, um, how insulating it is, and the overall kind of structure of the garment, how stiff it is. It, it does have some influence on that. So that's why the GSM is very important. You can have the same composition in different GSMs that will give the fabric a completely different characteristics. For a men's performance tee, similar to the Gymshark Apex shirt, I would use a 91 polyester 9% spandex blend at a 220 GSM. Use polyester because the fabric is super robust. If you guys have watched our fabrics video, you'll know a little bit about polyester. If you haven't, I highly recommend you watch it. The link is down below. I would use polyester. It's water resistant, crease resistant, it's a tough material. That's why it's widely used in gym wear. So 91 polyester, 9% spandex at a 220 GSM. Sometimes these types of shirts will have some form of ventilation mesh down the sides. I would use a 88 polyester, 12% spandex at around a 140 GSM weight. For a men's lifestyle cut off, I would use 95% cotton, 5% spandex at a 220 GSM weight. So for the men's lifestyle tee, we use 180 GSM. For the men's cutoff, we're using a slightly thicker and more robust version of that same fabric. For a men's hoodie, my top two picks would be 85% cotton, 10% polyester, 5% spandex. A little bit of spandex is always good to get some of that stretch in at around a 320 GSM gram weight. You can have this fabric in multiple types of finishes and I'll be doing a video specifically on finishes but for now all you need to know is there's three main finishes that we're gonna be discussing. A French terry finish, an interlock finish, and a brushed fleece finish. And you can have this fabric in any three of those finishes. It just depends on what type of aesthetic you're going for and what your personal preference is. I would also look at using a 60% cotton and 40% polyester blend at, again, a 320 GSM weight. For men's joggers, we have two types of fabrics that I'd be looking at, and they both have very different characteristics. One is a bit beefier, it's thicker, and one is a little bit more lightweight. So it depends on the application of your joggers something that's meant to lounge in versus something that's meant to be run in or something that is meant to be a bit more tighter fitting. So for the first one, I would use the same as a hoodie. I would use the 85% cotton, 
10% polyester, 5% spandex. You always want some stretch, especially in joggers, because there's a lot of stress areas that need that stretch or else you're gonna put unnecessary wear and tear on the seams and you might run into a complete tearing of those seams. So spandex is always good, especially in joggers. Or I would use a 79% viscose. Viscose is a synthetic material. Again, very silky smooth, very premium feeling. 79% viscose. 17% polyester and 4% spandex at a 280 GSM weight. So this is going to be your tighter fitting, cooler. It's you know the viscose is going to give it a cool touch, and it's going to be a lot more flexible. So this one's going to have even more stretch just because of the viscose and the spandex combining. For a men's technical jacket, men's technical jackets are jackets that are meant to withstand the elements. These are those really cool looking uh, jackets that are meant to be worn in outdoor situations. They're typically very, very lightweight and they're typically constructed of multiple layers. Some technical jackets can have up to four layers of different materials. We're gonna be looking at a dual layer technical jacket, so the most basic. You'd have the outer shell and the inner shell. For the outer shell, we'd use a 100% nylon blend not necessarily then, but a 100% nylon weave. And for the inner shell or the kind of mesh part, we'd use 100% polyester. These meshes come in different shapes. Some of them can look like honeycomb, some of them can be a diamond pattern. And this mesh is just kind of meant to ventilate and to kind of create a lightweight underbody structure. And for the woman stuff, we'll be looking at the main garments. The first would be a lady's leggings. The top two picks would be 88% nylon, 12% spandex with a peached finish. The peached finish, again, the types of finishes that you can give to garments, types of cosmetic finishes that you can give to garments uh, will be a whole video in itself. But a peach finish is essentially going to give the garment a lot more of a soft and supple feel and it's gonna take a bit of the shine out of it. So it's a matter of preference as well. And I would use this fabric at a 280 GSM, uh, 280 to 290 GSM uh, weight. You want a thicker weight for ladies' leggings, primarily because you want to make sure that they're going to be shear proof or squat proof, that when you're applying tension to them, they're not going to be see-through and you don't want any unnecessary mishaps. Same thing for the ladies' sports bra. You can share the same material between a pair of leggings and a sports bra. I would use 88% nylon, 12% spandex, and that would also be a great option for sports bras. For a bit more of a economical choice in fabric, you could use a 88% polyester, 12% spandex at around a 290 GSM. It's just a matter of preference in terms of what type of luxury peel you're going for. For a lightweight ladies tank top, I would use a blend of Modal. Modal is an offshoot of Rayon, which is a synthetic fiber meant to replicate silk. It's considered artificial silk. So I would use a blend of Modal, 95% Modal, 5% spandex, again, for some of that stretch, at a 150 to 60 GSM weight. That's gonna give you a very comfortable and very lightweight garment that's going to be super, super suitable for uh, the hotter seasons of the year. For ladies joggers, I would be looking at a 79% viscose. Again, this is the same fabric blend that I recommended as an alternate for the men's joggers. But for women's, I would use this as the primary focus just because of the properties of this specific blend in terms of being lightweight, form fitting, and overall just very silky smooth. It's going to be very suitable for women's joggers. 79% viscose, 17% polyester, and 4% spandex at a 200 and GSM, 280 GSM weight. The last subset of products would be seamless apparel, and this could be a video on its own, so I won't get into too much depth, but the main fabric that I would use for, let's just say, a lady's leggings and a lady's seamless sports bra would be 94% nylon and 6% elastane at around a 280 GSM weight. There can be, a, there's a ton of other types of seamless blends that you can use that involve polyamide, polyester, 
uh, mixes of nylon, spandex, polyester, and polyamide. It all depends on the specific fabric piece that you're going for, but as a beginning point, I would always go for a nylon and spandex blend in seamless apparel to get that nice mix of a silky smooth touch and an overall quality fabric. So that's it guys, that's a wrap. Those are my main fabric suggestions for most of the types of garments that you'd be looking at within the lifestyle and sports or space. Hopefully you guys have learned a thing or two. Hopefully you have a better idea on where to start looking. Does this mean that these are the be all and all off fabric types for these garments? Of course not. Uh, fabric, uh, fabric technology is a very wide and vast space and there's always more fabrics to look at. There's better fabrics, there's worse fabrics. Uh, it all depends on the specific type of situation that you're in and that your product lines in. So take it with a grain of salt and looking, look at this as a starting point. I'll have a PDF of these suggestions in the link below so that way you guys can take something concrete away from this. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been an absolute pleasure and I'll see you guys in the next one.